Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is. I'm Lauren, for those of you who don't know me. Again, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk through the Circle CI uh, integration that I worked on for the last workshop that Adam put together. Um, so it's pretty straightforward, actually. Um, you define your machine. Um, this could be Ruby, Java, um, Node.js, Python. Um, and you can define what it is that you need to install globally. So if you were using Grunt to build or Jasmine node here as we are to test, you would be able to install that globally before, um, before CircleCI uh, does their inferred commands that they kind of pick up on what your environment is and they run all of the things for you too. So they'll run npm install for you to build everything um, that comes with that as long as it's defined in your package.json file. Um, so here we are. I'm going to make sure that this test fails, just so you guys can kind of see. what it is. Um, so if we come back here, instantly you see that the test is running, right? Um, so you can watch it build here. It's going to run through a lot of stuff. And I'm just waiting for it to tell me that it fails. So as soon as I uh, pushed up into my master branch, which you can define which branches you want to run test on or have Circle CI watch. Um, so as soon as I committed the code up, it ran. Uh, and this is triggered by the circle.yaml file. And you kind of put in well, the things I showed you there, the, uh, your definitions of what you need to test and all of that good stuff. And I also defined the artifact that I wanted, which was the node server. Um, still running here. It's almost done. Cool. So you can see that we have a failure there in the Jasmine test that we ran. And I did that on purpose so that we could fix it and make sure that our artifact is collected. So it's failing. I know. Um, and what's really cool is uh, the tabs up here, you can see what it is that you've defined that's inside of your repo. Uh, you can also check your artifact. And if we, you know, go through here, check out the server.js. And this is stored um, through an A3 bucket um, that's provided through CircleCI. So here's all the information about the server. Um, so we'll run back in. and get our test passing again. Again. Test it again running. So I want to take the time to kind of go through some of the things that you can define in Circle CI. So, so an override is something that you don't. So Circle CI makes the assumption about your builds based on some of the things that you put in. So 
if there's something that you want to define that is more specific, you can override the commands that um, they inherently put it. You can define your environment. If you have multiple environments, um, you can test on different branches to see that uh, your development branch it goes to your development environment and things of that nature. You can find your host. Um, so where it gets really cool also is the build images. So you're able to like build from Docker and things like that. So it's really awesome. Um, and also, like again, you can build in various environments. Um, let's see, I think our test may be done here. So it tells us that it's fixed. Um, since I fixed the code and made sure that the test passed, right? So um, it'll let you know when there's no test, when it's fixed, and when you have successes after you've fixed that. Um, so it's really a clean interface, and I really like enjoy it. Um, there is one downside to it. Um, it only integrates with GitHub. <laughs> ah, I know, right? That's that kind of sucks. But um, otherwise, like it's a really useful tool. Um, and yeah, I recommend you guys checking out Circle CI. And I'm gonna do it. Any question? Yeah. My phone's over there. If you check it, they've emailed me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can also, um, there's a, I can pull that up too. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, um, oh, thanks. No, it, it is, but like on the screen, you can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there, there is a notification system. Um, you can also like set up, uh, webhooks too so you can set up a nof your own custom notification system so if you and it also integrates with uh, slack too so if you that's something you wanted to like build into slack or something of that nature you can certainly do that and with webhooks i mean the options are pretty endless so <laughs> anything else any other questions do you use that currently on your own project i do i do Personal, I did it for the workshop too because I'm familiar with it and and I knew the capabilities of it, so I knew that I could use those tools to complete it, and that was kind of awesome because I was like pretty much the only person who finished. But you know, yeah. Uh, awesome. Ah, that's a good question. Um, let's see, 2011. <laughs> yeah been around for a while, but yeah, it, it only integrates with Git, GitHub right now, which is very similar to what you see with Travis CI. Um, so I wish it was available for other um, Git uh, platforms, but not yet. Hopefully one day. That'd be awesome. Jenkins. Alrighty. Cool. I think we're good. No more questions? Cool. Thanks.